Hey guys, believe it or not, this is my late four-year return anniversary on YouTube. July 11th was my uh, official date, but uh, I didn't even know. I guess I forgot, and I just uh, checked back on my uh, anniversary video because I knew it was in July. I just didn't know what date it was, and it turns out it was July 11th. So, uh, as you can see, I'm four days late, but um, I'm making the video now, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I was busy or just not paying attention. I uh, actually got home yesterday from um, my one-day vacation, which was uh, somewhere in Ellicottville, New York. It was pretty nice, and I'll have a little video at the end of this video of me going down this thing called the Mountain Coaster. It was like the Sky High Mountain Coaster. It's just a short little 10-second video of me riding up it, just taking video of, you know, the like forests around the side of it. You'll see it at the end of this video, and it was pretty cool, but I couldn't really keep the camera going much long because as soon as I got over that hill, I was going down so I wasn't gonna risk losing my phone but anyways yeah this is my uh, four year um, late return anniversary video because as we all know I think I've said this in all of my anniversary videos. Four years ago, I uh, got back into YouTube. I made uh, my very first YouTube video in 2010, actually, but um, that was at my friend's house, and we used his camera, and I didn't have a camera at the time until two years later, of course, in 2012, July 11th, 2012, that being, and I got a camera, actually, believe it or not. I don't know why I keep saying this, but it was my mom's birthday in September of uh, 2010, no, 2011, I'm getting mixed up, and she got a, like, a little flip GoPro camera, not GoPro, it was something like that, but it was like a handheld one, and um, she got that, and she never used it, so as the years, or I'm botching this whole video, I apologize, but as the months went on and I got to July, I figured out how to upload things to YouTube, and then bam, that WWE 5155 channel was reborn, so that's how it all happened. So, small update video, well... Might as well, because I don't really have anything planned. But I found my old Rev Treads trucks, actually, my attic's right here. I know my attic's in my room. It's scary, right? The ghosts, they keep hitting the floors. I can't sleep at night. But I found my old Rev Treads trucks. I used to have more. I used to have, like, the uh, Destroyer and, you know, some old ones. They make weird noises, too, because of how old they are. I don't know if that's normal, but it's really loud. Compared to, like, ones like this one, it's really quiet. You see, you can hear the noise difference in them, but the Prowler... Pretty nice Cadillac Arrest, yeah, I know. This was, I've, I've known I've had Cadillac Arrest. I mean, I've had this and the WCW Nitro, which I have in the showcase over here. I knew I had those two, but I found all of these in my attic. So, Prowler, the Beast, I don't have the Beast in 164 scale. I still gotta get it, but here's the Beast Rev Tread. Maniac, you might have seen Maniac. Maniac I just usually have hanging out in the corner over there. I never really touched it. The old Wolverine. The stickers are pretty banged up on it because, you know, Rev Treads there, you know, back in the day, I didn't really care. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has the Chevy logo on it. Back when Mattel was allowed to put Ford and Chevy logos on them. Here's the old Airborne Ranger. It says Monster Jam with the USHRA logo. It says Chevrolet on the back. You can't really see it because of how dark it is. Maybe there you can see it. And it just went out of focus. This Grave Digger is pretty banged up. It's got rips on the side paint on the top actually has a back decal which is interesting maximum destruction gray see they predicted this 10 years later that they'd have a gray maximum destruction here's team mints see unlike the goldberg it has a picture of goldberg on the back but that's tom mints the driver of course and that's team mints and Nightmare Express, another truck I've yet to get in the 164 scale, so I'll be hunting Nightmare Express and the Beast. But, um, yeah, small fact, Nightmare Express and the Beast are both real trucks now. You'd know the Beast is real because if you saw my um video of five more Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that are also real-life trucks, Nightmare is also another real truck. I'll have another one of those videos coming up probably in the next week or two. Um, but yeah, I'll have another five trucks that are real. So yeah, I just found some of these rev treads. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Probably put them back in the attic because I don't, uh, collect rev treads anymore. As we all know, I'm 164 scale collector. Some people are probably wondering, what am I going to do with these trucks in the future? Well, my plan is when I move out of my parents' house, cause you know, I'm still in school and uh, I plan on building a shrine, like a little display case, and who knows, maybe passing a few down to my children in the future, who knows, but, you know, as of now, I'm still collecting, man. So, anyways, Yu-Gi-Oh! This is my old Yu-Gi-Oh! binder, I don't collect Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, I used to have a deck, I used to duel like crazy in Yu-Gi-Oh! and, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a big thing for me back in the day, and I found my old binder, 
And yeah, baby, I got good cards. I kind of remember. I remember this was probably, I don't know, a long time ago. But I was at a flea market with my brother. And we this guy was selling like a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And he had like this little box. And there was like three packs of these cards inside. And I opened, we were on our way home. And I was sitting in the back in the, of my car. Or, yeah, in the car and with my brother. And we were both opening the Yu-Gi-Oh packs. So he told me to go first. So I opened my first pack, second pack. And then I got to the third pack. And I pulled this. And I'm like, what is this? And he's like, dude, that's like ultimate rare. I'm like, oh my god. I've never seen anything like this. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm going to try my best to get it on camera. But doing research this is called a ghost rare and you can kind of see it there majestic star dragon it's like a mirror but in the right light you can see it it looks awesome man this is like the holy grail, grail card i pulled now i don't know if any of you guys are diehard Yu-Gi-Oh fans but i did some research on the internet and apparently this card is like a hundred dollar card legend of blue eyes first edition ultimate rare red eyes b dragon Apparently that's an ultimate rare card, and it's like $100. I pulled these two cards. I don't know why. We opened all our packs in our car, so I don't know. It was just weird. And I pulled both of these at the same time. Well, not in the same pack, but, well, yeah, one pack I pulled this, the other pack I pulled this. At the same time in the car, so it's weird. So I pulled all of my cards, like, here in a car, so pretty cool. I remember getting this. That was, like, a long time ago. I'm more of an older Yu-Gi-Oh card guy. I don't like the newer cards. Here's some of these. I don't know, I'm considering selling my Yu-Gi-Oh binder, so, you know, if anybody is into Yu-Gi-Oh and wants any of these cards, let me know. I have the complete Exodia set and the three God cards, you know, this is like the page to have, so. Any Yu-Gi-Oh guys out there, offer me some money in the comments below if you're interested. But, um, yeah, I don't know what tokens are. I mean, like I said, it's newer, I don't really know. Chakra, this was, growing up, there was a PlayStation 2 game called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, and this was like my favorite ritual card to use. Senjenjin was another one of my favorite cards to use. But yeah, these are all mainly the older cards. And I think after this page, like you just saw, these are like the newer cards that, you know, I gave up on because they're dumb. This Jinzo, this thing's worth money. I know that. That's like PSV000 Secret Rare. It's at least 20 bucks. I know some of these cards are worth money. Dark Hole. All Dark Holes are worth money because it's, it's a banned card, but... You know, this is just some of my binder. Maybe one other day when I'm, you know, not busy. I'll go through my entire Yu-Gi-Oh! binder and show it off. But anyways, that's really it, guys. That's four years on the WWE 5155 channel and plenty more to come. I'm going to have a SmackDown vlog July 26th because I'm going to SmackDown. And it uh, should be awesome. That's going to be the next vlog for anyone wondering. And, um, yeah, that's going to do it for now.